Computers transfer text using encoding techniques. Text is encoded and decoded using the ASCII system. This is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. For an example of the codes, I've put a link. Codes are assigned to each letter of the alphabet, numbers and for other characters that need to be represented. When you write something into a simple text editor on your computer, the bytes of the file size should match the characters, including the spaces and full stops of the sentence. Some activities that students could do in the classroom to explore the way that text is encoded and decoded could involve encoding and decoding secret messages. You can do this by having students use encoding systems from a website where they can type text and have it converted and then back again. Alternatively, students could work with a coding system that you have created to decode a secret message from you. Extending on this, students could then have the opportunity to work in teams to devise their own coding system for the alphabet and write secret messages to one another as part of a literacy activity perhaps. Once again, Computer Science Unplugged includes some excellent activities for children to explore problem solving within the context of encoding and decoding messages. So we urge you to have a look at those. A great thing about this resource is that it also includes information for teachers explaining how these processes work. How does a computer know what the binary code represents? For example, as we've discussed, it could represent an alphabet letter, a pixel color, a sample sound, or an instruction. The computer knows how to interpret the binary code because of the context. And this is where the data was sent. This will be explored in more detail in input and output in a later unit.